title. So spare, so simple, just like salt. Abashingly eerie that just because I'm here on the long, low tide beach of age with briny time, licking insidious <coughs> eddies over my toes, there rise in me those mad weeks a lifetime ago when I had two lovers. One who soaked herself so in Chanel that before <laughs> I went to the other, <laughs> oh, you've been there, huh? I just scrub with fistfuls of salt and not only would the stink be vanquished, but I'd feel shame, shriven, pure, which thinking about is a joke. How not acknowledge, obsolete notion or no, that I was a cad. Luckily, though, I've hung on to my Cornell box of pastness with its 10,000 compartments, so there's a place for these miniature mountains of salt each with its code tag of amnesia, also for the flock of Donna's and Edna's and Annie's, a resplendent feather from the feather is a, is a homage to Cornell. He had many in his box. Splendid feather from each, and though they're the, there from the times I was not only crass, stupid, and selfish, but thoughtless, an art word for shitty. <laughs> open now. Cornell had a lot of birds in yeah. his boxes, the feather. Their beaks open now not to berate, but stereophonically warble forgiveness. Such an engrossing contrivance. Up near a corner in tinsel, my memory moves, still glowing, still cruel, because of the misery it magnifying the times I was abandoned. They flee, oh, they flee. I'd have braved myself then not with salt, but anapests and iams and enjambments, and here they still are, burned in ink, but here too dead center Catherine with her hand carved frame in a frame, like the hero in westerns who arrives just in time to rescue the town she galloped up to save me. Well, I suppose soon the lid with its unpickable, unpickable lotch will come down, but the top, I hope, will be glass, see-through, like Cornell's. So I'll watch myself for a while, boinging around like a pin. Cornell had a lot of balls in his boxes, too. I'm still loving this flipper thing life that so surprisingly can cannoned me up from oblivion's ramp, and to which I learned to sing in my own voice, but sometimes thanks be in the voice of others which is why I can prove now my loofy still. Why I can cry, for I have done.